que, que viva, viva España. España. What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back for another entertaining Friday. My name is Santos Martinez, and well, I thought today we take it back to the motherland. Ay, ay, ay! Puerto Rico, la isla encantada. Ajos con gandules y habichuelas guisada. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about Portugal. You said you do an experience talking about that video. No, we're still waiting. Okay. Yes. Technically, I was going to share some videos on. Instagram, but I was talking about Spain. Oh, okay. oh really though? Yo pensaba que dijiste motherland. You're not even a little bit español. Your grandparents came from la isla Puerto Rico. How can you claim Spanish blood? Well, technically they're descendants of Spaniards. Ay, descendants nada. We are a mixture of three different culturas. La africana, la indígena, y la española. Which is why we should talk about Puerto Rico. Hello, your roots. And I do have roots in all three cultures. But I wanted to finally wrap up my Spain talk with a montage of the countryside and a video I took on my phone of my last days there. Of course, everything about Spain, but nothing Puerto Rico. Well, I'm still waiting on that Portugal story, so... Adios mio about the Portugal. Hey, subconscious and anxiety, please stop. Yes, I'll make a video on both. Please, let's get this moving along. Sorry, y'all. So yes, the trip. Oh, uh, yeah, the trip. So on the last final days of being in Spain, we visited a monastery called El Monasterio del Escorial in the town of San Lorenzo del Escorial, just north of Madrid. To be honest, this place looked like a castle, as you can see by the photos. Ay, photos. Would you stop? I mean, to me, these look Italian or Greek not Spanish. Okay, to continue. But I think the real attraction lied just right next door to the monastery, which not many people actually went to go venture. And that is Los Jardines del Principe. It was built for Prince Charles, the Prince of Asturias, in the 1770s. Okay, pero eso looks like it came from a Dr. Seuss book. But it looks nice. I'd have to agree. More, por favor. So the prince really loved this area and he kept it well maintained as you can see. 200 years later it still looks pristine. And throughout his life he added to this garden which is what you're seeing here. It was his legacy. So this is a place I'd recommend to visit if you ever come to the monastery. So I wanted to share a video I took at this garden in my final days in Spain. A place that I now call my second home. <clears throat> to a place I consider my third home. Hey, what's up, it's me. So, today is my last day in Spain, really. And I just wanted to give an update on how everything's going. So, yeah, I am currently um, north of Madrid in a small town called San Lorenzo. Um, I am waiting to go to see the Franco burial site. Um, sorry, I just got distracted by a bee. And yeah, so it doesn't leave till three. So right now it's currently one. So I'm probably gonna go eat some lunch before I go. But this be this park is beautiful. Um, I don't know. Let's see. So as you can see, I, there's pictures of it, but it's pretty beautiful. And this is like a prin This is like the prince's garden. And I'll have pictures of it. But I'm sitting over here on this bench trying to get some shade. The shade of it all. No. I'm trying to get some shade because yeah, you have to stay in the shade if you want to survive in this country. And you also have to have lots of water, which is what I have. So, yeah, so review of my trip. So, yeah, it was fun. I loved it. Um, I learned a lot. As far as Spanish goes and cultures, I learned. I think I learned more about the history of Spain because I didn't know anything about it until I came here. And that, depending on where you go, there is bilingual people. For example, in Madrid, everybody speaks English and Spanish. But in the smaller towns, no one speaks any Spanish. I mean, no one speaks any English. Which is why 
It's better to just learn the language. I mean, I already know the language. So, entonces, vamos a hablar en español. Eh, he estado aquí por, durante seis semanas. Y me voy mañana a casa. Y he conocido a muchi muchísimas gentes aquí en España y no sé yo creo que me encantaré volver a España quizás a Salamanca y al sur de, de, de la ciudad no del, del país porque todavía no he ido a Andalucía también a Valencia y al norte donde se dice que hay el, el, la mejor comida de España. Ay Dios, disculpa. Y bueno, eso es todo para el fin de mi viaje. Y esperamos a verte. Espero de que, espero, no sé qué quiero decir, pero te veo pronto. Adiós. Well, that's it guys. That's my last installment of Spain Talk. But if you want to see more photos and more pics of my adventures in Spain, go check out my Instagram. I just linked it down below and you'll be able to check all those photos out. Yes, please, averigualo. And you can see photos of Portugal there too. They're right. Yes, you can. So go check out Portugal photos as well. I've also linked down below my Twitter page and my Facebook page. So if you guys want to follow me, go ahead and check those out as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Leave a comment telling me where your trip's gone, where you'd like to go, or where you've been. And also share this video with as many people as you can, because remember, this channel is all about spreading the love. And well, my name is Santos Martinez. And remember to always stay positive. Peace out.